G'day, this is Oz ADV Rider. Today I'm going to be talking about riding and mental health and when it's not a good idea. I'm sure you've all seen videos and posts on different groups about um, how great riding is for your mental health. And for the most part it is. These days my mental health is pretty good and riding is great for me. The biggest thing for me is just uh, it gives your brain a break. You jump on the bike and your concentration level suddenly goes up. You hit the dirt roads, it goes up another level, and you take your bike places where it was never meant to be, and that concentration level goes up and again. You forget all your troubles for a while, so it just gives you that break. But what happens when your mental health is so bad that you uh, do not concentrate on riding? Your brain is so consumed by all its problems that you, uh, you're not concentrating on riding and you don't really care if you make it to your destination or not. Um, it's alright, I'm concentrating on twisties right now. Talking about concentration. Concentrate on riding, I'm not talking. Yeah, if I go back 20 years ago, I had quite severe depression. I didn't know it for a long time. I was in my early 20s. So it wasn't something that was talked about as much back then. I was commuting 75 kilometers each way to work on a road that was known by the locals as the Rickety Way. I saw all sorts on that road, it was a country road, through the hills, very, very rough. Um, I'd ride in dark and thick fog, there was cows on the road, farmers, tractors, caravans, dogs, snakes, everything. But anyway, um, I was in such a state of mind at the time where I was not concentrating on riding. It was a very, very scary time. 